On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to another on drop rate video. I have just one thing to say in this intro. This is going to be rough. Uh, we're going into the wilderness in this one and we're going to probably the most PK'd area in the entire game. And I am a very bad PKer, it's not really something I've ever really done much of, but we're going to the Revenant Caves, and we're going to be killing the Revenant Dragons in hopes of getting the Ancient Crystal, and without being Skulled it's 1 in 2667, but if you are Skulled it's 1 in 1467, and that is the drop rate we're going for, so we're going to be playing Skulled the entire time, risking quite a lot, and I might get smited for a crafts bow in this video, which is worth like 36 million right now, so we're risking a lot, and I will get PK'd, a lot of times in 1467 Revenant Dragon kills, but I guess let's just get into it and see how it goes. This is the gear and the inventory I'm going to be using. I am risking the Crofts Bow. If I do get smited, I would lose a lot of money. So let's go and do this. Look at this, 36.6 million. And if I do have the item protection on, I only risk 298k. So it's kind of important that I keep that up, hopefully I don't get piled by a team and get massively smited. In the last video we had a massive giveaway and we do have to do that first, we had 1098 entries, that is ridiculous, and let's have a look at who actually is going to be the winner, let's roll it right away. The winner of this giveaway is... Sam Newborn Temple, I got bored at Timonic Gorillas after about 20 minutes, fair play man, and his name is Temps Tellies. Congrats to you for a massive giveaway. And of course, here is me giving all the money, 54.1 million GP to Thames Tellies. Hopefully you will enjoy all that money and spend it on something very interesting and good. The grind has officially begun. This is the first dragon of the video. Are we going to get a rare drop right away? Bracelet of Ethereum. Yeah, I mean, it has good value, 43k, but it is a 1 in like 6 or something. So I'm going to be getting a lot of these. Oh, Dragon Plate Skirt, two of them, 322k. That's on kill number two. It seems like we're going to be making some money in this grind, hopefully. If I don't get PK at all too much and I lose too much money, we might actually make some money. So I think we're already coming up to the end of the first trip and I have not been PK'd yet, which is a very good sign. I can't even pick everything up. And I want to teleport out and show you guys. I did 23 kills. And that took me, judging by the potions, around 10 minutes to do. So around 30 seconds per kill, somewhere around that. And the amount of money we made is crazy. Look at this. 23 kills, 1 million GP. And then I just run to 30 wilderness and I use the grand or royal seed pod and teleport out. And then I can bank everything that I've got. Now, because I'm not a very good PKer, I have decided to not really try to counter-attack people. I will attack them if I'm frozen, just to do some damage to them, rather than just doing nothing. But I'm not bringing like an AGS or a D class or something like that, which is going to be a massive risk for me. I think it would literally never get me a kill, and I would just risk more money. So what I'm doing is just escaping every single time, trying to get to 30 wilderness and be out after that. And the people that attack me here are very good gear. They're usually in like 30 to 50 million worth of gear sometimes even more than that and uh, I don't think really I stand a chance so I'm instead of showing like 40 clips in a row of different people attacking me me just running away or being frozen I'm just going to show a couple of clips of me trying to survive these PKers and me talking uh, meanwhile showing them so actually what I'm trying to do if I do it correctly but as I said I'm a pretty bad PKer and if you're going to do this yourself the best advice I can give you at least is protect melee as much as you can and then just hope that you don't get specked out and spam eat the entire time, stay very high HP, 
And so every time they try to spec you out, like they hit a 40 ranged or something, you just spam eat. Meanwhile, praying melee so they can't AGS you for like an 80 or something. And then you get away to the lower parts, the 31. And they never really have teleblock because they're using ancient magic to freeze you in the first place. Of course, there will be some people that use the normal spellbook that can teleblock you. And in that case, it's going to be a bit harder. But uh, in general cases, you definitely can just get frozen, tank it out, and then at the end teleport out at 30 wilderness. Not sure if this is really helpful, but I actually marked the entire line where I can teleport. I can't do there, but if I go here and press the teleport, this is the line I actually have to get to exactly to be able to escape. So far I have not died yet and I've done roughly 100 kills, so it's looking good, but I am getting attacked fairly often. Now, after I kill this Revenant Dragon right here, we are pretty much 10% or one-tenth of the way done with the entire grind. I needed 1467 kills, and I can't do 146.7 kills, so this is kill number 146. And uh, I have made a good amount of money, look at this, 4.45 million from 145, and that means times 10 that, if I get no rare drop and that this loot keeps going on, I will make 45 million, which is very nice. Ooh, look at that. Baba the third, a peak here, is coming in this way, so I guess it's time to change world. Alright, I'm getting attacked by this guy and he's not very good geared, so I'm probably not going to be dying here, but let's try out this method as well. Can I actually leave and get a log before I even uh, get attacked again? Uh, can I get a gap... Alright, I did not get a gap, so I'm probably going to still get attacked here if people are quick. And uh, I still think this is better, because if I get teleblocked, I'm actually outside of the rev caves, so I can technically run to safety. But in the rev caves, you can't leave anyway, except teleporting out or this uh, exit. So I would actually be kind of stuck in there if I would get teleblocked, which some people do bring spellbook swap and try to teleblock me. But uh, yes, because of that, I think this path is better to take. That is the first rare spawn I've seen. You can see in the chat, a superior revenant has been awoken in the middle of the caves. I don't think I will actually try to kill these. If it spawns really close to me and there's like no one around, I might try and do it. But uh, I guess we'll see. The, the rewards from it is not great, so I don't know if it's worth the risk. Wow, okay. This guy actually managed to get a teleblock on me on 31 wilderness. I am completely fine though, I'm not really going to be losing my crafts bow, so that's all good, I protect item on, but uh, Idol is the first guy to kill me on this grind. Oh, this time it spawned really close, it's just south here, when I can actually teleport as well, so I just have to look out for being teleblocked, and I should be fine. There's another guy here, and there's a PK. Yeah, if I get teleblocked here, I die. I don't have the agility shortcut, so I'm just going to teleport out. I don't feel like it's worth the risk, but yeah, I was expecting that. PKers are going to flood to that area, of course. I am keeping track of how many times I've been attacked and how many times I've actually died from it. So at the end of the video, I will show you guys all of that. And I can tell you, there is a lot of PKers here. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I think like every 20 kills on average, I've been attacked one time, which is... Pretty bad, but at least I haven't died many times. So far, I've only died one single time, so that is good at least. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how many PKers at the end of this I've been attacked by and how many times I've actually died. I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. I didn't want to go with the Amulet of Avarice, but it has a 20% damage bonus to Revenants, and it actually keeps me Scald the entire time, which is kind of annoying without it. I have to go find the Emblem Trader all the time to re scald myself. So I'm actually going to invest in this, and even if I do die, it's not the biggest loss. It's 350k, and I get that from, like, killing 10 revenants. So it's not that bad. I'm going to be wearing it, and it will keep me scald the entire time. And if I do check right now how much I'm actually risking when I'm scald, that is not the correct one. Enable... So, PK skull active, I would lose 35 million, and if I protect item on, I lose 600k. So it would be 300k, roughly without the amulet, so it's not that bad still. This amulet also notes a lot of really annoying items to pick up normally, like adamant bars, black dragon hide. They're noted now, so they don't take that much inventory space in my looting bag. I usually want to kind of, you know, bank when I have like a million worth in my looting bag anyway, so this might not extend my trips by a lot, but uh, it's nice nonetheless, have to pick up less items. Oh my god, 
Oh my god, the 8 million ancient effigy? Oh my god, I think that's the second rarest one, or maybe the second most expensive at least. Oh my- Okay, I have to run and I have to go to a bank right away. Someday I might complete this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Just have a look at this log, this is ridiculous. This is probably overall like 100,000 revenant kills or something like that. It, it has to be ridiculous to complete. And by the way, we did get that drop on 457 kill counts and the loot is on the screen right now. The average amount of money I've made from each dragon so far is 49,000 GP. That is not bad. Okay, this amulet is definitely worth it and for only 350k, yes, I am going to keep doing this even if I die and lose a couple of them because my kills now are incredibly fast because I think it's every four hits that you do, the monsters heal themselves again. And if you just keep hitting all the time consistently, you don't really have to deal with much healing at all. But if you do splash a bit, look at this damage. Oh my god, it healed one time and now it's pretty much dead. So before it could heal two, three times sometimes and that slowed it down quite a lot. So yes, I am going to keep using this amulet, definitely worth it. Oh, it spawned by me? Uh, should I even try to fight this? I don't know if I can kill this. It's probably not a great idea. 1250 HP. Normally I would not run to this. I've seen a couple of spawns, but it spawned literally by me. So maybe I'll try. Alright, so a couple of people showed up and everyone attacking is attacking the boss. Uh, I don't know if I want to stay too long because I don't really have that much food. And someone is attacking me, so yeah, I don't think I want to risk it. I have like 900k in my looting bag right now, so I don't know. The totem that it drops is not worth that much. The boss is going to die now, I think, and yeah, there it is. You see the buff over me? My skull turned blue. I think that is if you have the Amulet of Avarice that I'm using right now. If you kill one of those rares, you get like a... 10% damage buff or something to Revenant. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I can use that now to Revenant, which is not bad. Another one? Oh god, it's the 500k one. That is actually more rare when you're Scald. It's only 500k. It's without being Scald, it's 1 in 1.3k. When you're Scald, it's 1, 1 in 4.4k. Congratulations to you, Dusty Nan. You are going to claim the first Amulet of Avarice from me. It's going to be a minus 300k right here. This guy definitely deserved it. He played really well and now he's trying to smite me, I'm pretty sure. But I have a lot of resource. I should be fine. But this is the power of teleblocking. If you're going to be PKing here, I mean, maybe I shouldn't give recommendations, but I'm already done with the grind now after this video is out. So it's all good. Bring Spellbook Swap or even just Entangle and... Uh, and the uh, teleblock spell, because I cannot escape if I'm teleblocked. It's really hard. But uh, yes, minus 300k for the amulet right there. Oh, that is ironic. <laughs> Five minutes to uh, a system update. I just actually died and lost this like a couple of hours ago in the last clip you probably saw. And that is, uh, well, I got it back through a Revenant Dragon kill. That's a 1 in 11,000 drop. It's not worth a lot, but cool. Ooh, the 6 Magic Seed drops 766k. Worth quite a lot. It's actually very rare. It's 1 in 1100. But it's not as rare as some of the other Revenant items, of course. Like the Amulet of Avarice that I just got is 10 times as rare. I am so dead. <laughs> there is no way. I have like 3 Saradomin Sips left, 15 seconds, and I'm Venomed. And this guy has a heavy ballista as well and an AGS, so I think I am pretty dead here. Maybe the, another Amulet of Avarice is going to go to this guy. And his name is very interesting, so I'm not going to say the name, but you can read it. 51. Can I get the TP? I'm actually unfrozen. Oh my god, I do. I thought I was dead there. I actually lived. I am still Venomed, of course, but 16 and I have 24 HP. Yeah, I'm fine. I actually lived that. That was... Ooh, that was a bit too close. After this Revenant Dragon, right here, we're actually on the halfway point. We're at 733 kills. It's actually halfway point would be 733.5, but of course I can't kill half a dragon. But there it is, 732 to 33, and we have made 31.8 million so far. So if the luck and the average GP per kill is staying up at this rate, we will end at like 62 million, which is a lot of money. Is that the real dino? That's like a PK YouTuber slash streamer, so he knows what he's doing. Hopefully I get the gap. 
World Hop, please? No, he froze me. Oh no, dude. This guy is good at the game. I am going to get demolished here, I feel like. Ah, uh, might as well just spam it, maybe. I don't know. I have a lot of food, so I'm kind of in a good spot at least. And I don't know. I feel like he's going to have teleblock because he's he's like a really good PK, so I'm kind of scared he actually does have teleblock. I might just pray. Okay, 77. I'm just spam eating. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just spam eating. He did not have teleblock, and I got away. Easy clap. I actually ended up getting attacked by Dino a couple of times, but I do have one of the clips right here. He's a very nice and entertaining guy, and he did give me permission to show this clip. So here you go. Got lots of steps, then. I'm going to need some sort of ridiculous size barrage. Or range hit on him. Any XP drop would be lovely. Just... Still in it, we're fine. There's still a chance. That's more like it. Fuck. Soma's gonna change his prayer. Well, that's a shame. Bad hits, man. No fucking way. Dude, there's no way. Oh my god. 36.5 million. Oh, that's like the best drop I could have got. I don't think that... Yeah, there's nothing more expensive than that. That is a 1 in 22,000. Oh my god. I have to run out. I, there's like no one here. I should be fine. Holy sh... I don't even know what to say. Twin, oh, 36 million. 1 in 22,000. Crofts, bro. I actually got the item. So I got it on 1072kc and you can see all the loot on the screen right now and currently I am at 73,000 GP worth of profit every single kill. That is ridiculous. Let's also look at the collection log because this is going to be ridiculous. Let's look at Revenants. I've broken the 1100kc mark and oh my, just look at this. I have Crowd's Bow, Amulets of Avarice, I have the Ancient Effigy. Ancient Emblem, and of course a bunch of Aether as well. I have still not got the Ancient Crystal though, so I have, what is that, like 400 kills left to do, and I have still not won the challenge, so this could either be a massive payout for me, or both a massive, massive payout for me and a good giveaway, so I guess we'll see how that turns out, but uh, if I ever want to complete this log, I have uh, done a good dent into it already. The code has been cracked, I know exactly how to not get PK'd at Revenants as much as I was getting PK'd. I was getting PK'd all the time until I found this one simple trick that no one wants you to know. And the answer to it is... The Australian Worlds. No one wants to PK on these worlds, they are so extremely laggy that PKers just don't want to go here. I was getting PK'd the entire grind all the time and now I haven't been PK'd in like 200 kills. And uh, ever since I joined the Australian gang, it has been all but uphill. Okay, hear me out. I know this was a terrible idea. I stayed the entire Maledictus this time. I really wanted to get the emblem. I have like no food left now, but it's about to die. I know the drop is going to be mine as well, and if you do actually get an effigy, there it is, the Ancient Emblem, 500k, a bunch of other items as well. The Emblem is always dropped on death, by the way, so even if I pick this up, I am probably going to die from this guy. Luckily, he is not super geared, I'm going to be picking everything up, and get the food as well, so I have some food at least, that get the blighted items, alright. Can I escape this guy now? Infernal Cape with uh, Mystics and an Abyssal Tentacle Whip? I don't know what that is. But a DFS as well on top of it. His setup is very strange. And maybe I can actually gap him if he's not a very good player. Guess we'll see. I actually think I gapped him right here. I don't think he can attack me from this range. I might actually get the log here. I am telebo- And I get it. Easy as that. Was worth it. So we are getting down to the last 100 kills, this one is kill number 1367 and all the loot that I've got so far will be on the screen right now. You can see it is worth a lot of money, but I have not got the crystal that I was actually hunting for. We have 100 kills left to do, I still have the chance of getting the item, 
But otherwise, it is not looking good for me winning this challenge. Yo! Ancient statuette, another collection log item. So shortly after that 100 kill left mark. Dude, I am getting all of these collection log items. I'm actually getting no duplicates, I don't think. Just from the Maledictus, of course, I got the duplicate statue. But other than that, oh my god, my luck has been incredible. Now, according to the actual drop rate, this kill right here would be where I would exactly get the Ancient Crystal. Kill number 1467, the last one for the entire grind. And let's see, are we going to win or lose this challenge? Regardless, I have been extremely lucky in this. And the last kill is Bracelets of Ethereum, the most common drop you can get. I did lose the challenge and the loot for all the kills is on the screen right now, 92.4 million GP. I have all the rares I got in my inventory right now and just from the rares I actually made a whopping 47.5 million. That is about half of the money that I made from this, so if you do not get any rares at all, which is kind of unlikely, you would still make around 45 million from killing 1467 Revenant Dragons. And of course, let's have a look at the collection log as well. This looks absolutely incredible for an overall of the account, 1546 Revenant kills. And in terms of ether, by the way, I did recharge my bow with them, of course, and my bracelet. And I just had my bracelet on auto consume them, so when I kill the dragon, it just consumed the charges. And overall, I'm pretty sure that I either went even or I lost charges. And let's talk about the death counter as well. Now, over the course of this grind, I believe I only died one time with an amulet of avarice, so we only lost 300k extra from actually using the amulet, and it was well worth it, so if we're going there, it is kind of easy to escape, you'll see that on the statistics, I am a bad PKer and probably bad at escaping as well, and I got attacked 52 times in this video and i actually only died six times and actually three of those times i had low food already when i got attacked and the other times every single time combined with everything when i had low food and not i was teleblocked every time i never died to someone who just barraged me escaping that was so easy just run down south and you're fine to teleport out as long as you have some kind of food but if you get teleblocked that is another story and that is pretty much how i died every time now, of course, we have a massive giveaway to do. You can see the chat already has it posted. 46.2 million giveaway for this one, as I did not get the Ancient Crystal. How you win this is on the screen right now. And I do want to mention, I always roll the winner two days, exactly 48 hours after this video has been posted. After that, I give the winner 48 hours to respond to my messages. That's why Discord is so good. If you contact me there, it will be guaranteed that I see it. So that is why it's on the bonus list. But with that, I do thank you all sincerely for watching this video. I had a lot of fun actually killing these Revenant Dragons. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Wilderness content, this was alright. I didn't die as many times as I thought I would, and that actually motivated me, along with all the amazing drops as well, to keep going with the grind. But until next time, guys, take care.